But when you listen back, um, say in the post-production process, do you do you kind of do you actually sit there and think, no, I'm not giving enough emotion to that song? Oh yeah. And do you then go go and re-record it, or what do you do? I sing for hours. This one song. I mean, some people can can't understand that doing that process in the studios. I like they say to me, it sounds amazing. Why do you, why do you why are you really doing it? But you know, my gut is instincts t tell me that um, the magic or the feeling is not right there yet. So I'm really picky about that about singing sessions. And because I do a lot of background vocals to myself, it takes for hours. All those doubles I do, they have to be perfectly on time. And, and you do all your own harp. Do you do a lot of your own harmonies? As yes. Well? I have some backgrounds vocals too on some songs, but you know, it's good that sometimes those different voices don't really fit into my world in those songs. So I, I, I prefer to do my own backgrounds mostly. Mm, I love to sing. I love to be in the studio, you know, and I, I, I just feel more energetic. The more I sing, people get tired. I don't. I just can sing forever. 12 hours, 13 hours, I just keep singing. Giving breaks, of course, eating some things, going back. <laughs> what do you think about vocalists that have lost their voices? Does that does that is that a fear for you that that could happen? Uh, well, it is. I mean, I think it's every vocalist uh, fear. But you know, I'm, I'm taking care of myself, and I hope you know that won't happen to me. But it's a sad thing. It's a bad thing. I can't imagine not to be able to sing. It's your greatest instrument. Yes, it's 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 what what makes me me, and I couldn't live without it. I mean, but you know, because I like to write songs, I would be still satisfied by that at least. You know, <laughs> but you know, thank thank God, my voice is in a good shape. Tarkan, you come from a long line of great singers in Turkey. Um, I suppose just in the last, I don't know, 50 years, obviously, Zeki Moran, Bulent Ersoy, <sighs> Ajda Pekin, uh, to name but a few. Um, perhaps out of the older greats, um, do you have a favorite? In Turkey? Mm. Well, Sezen Aksu was always my mentor because she's a great lyricist. You know, I'm really, really close friends still. I love her and her, her talent her musical influence has been a big um, motivation and a push in my career in Turkey. But besides Turkey, I mean, I, I love the Beatles. I mean, uh, I love Sting. Um, he's great as an artist to me. Um, a lot of American artists, I love a lot. I mean, some rock bands, I mean, some R&B singers. Um, I'm 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 a little strange about that. I mean, I I can't listen to everything. I like I like classic music. I like ethnic music a lot. I like Oriental music. I like rock, um, which is I guess the reason that I can fit into all those kinds of songs when I sing too. Just I can relate to them all. Um, You're absorbing influences from so many different genres, basically, and so many different people. Thanks for putting it in a better way for me. And it all kind of goes into into your little brain there, which is how me. <laughs> this is me not putting it better than you. <laughs> <Straight> <laughs> away. Um, well, um, what what do you love about Istanbul? Because you have now chosen to come back and live here after spending years in New York. So something pulled you back to this city. Well, it's my country, you know, Turkey is my country. Istanbul, I like the dynamic of Istanbul, so many people. And as a city, I think it's a beautiful city. The Bosphorus is beautiful. I love all those bridges and the houses and the restaurants. And because my family is here, my girlfriend is here, my friends, my office, I just feel home in Istanbul. But uh, I can't, I mean, I, I love the world and I feel like the world belongs to all of us. I don't. F I don't believe in borders and all these limits. Um, you know, like religion and r races and all that. So, I feel like a global person. Okay, well that's good. It, it sounds though you have kind of found your home, at least for the moment. For the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, without asking you to be a soothsayer, I have to ask you: Where do you think Turkish music is heading? In terms of what what a young young Turkish people asking for these days, what do you, what are you picking up? In that sense, <clears throat> mm. well, pa 
pop is changing direction lately in Turkey, I think. I mean, because it's been overdone and overused so so many times in Turkey. So 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 many songs which were really hits but being been played by radio stations and people got sick of them, I guess. And you know, mostly just one song in the album was a hit and the rest wasn't. So people lost faith. I guess in many albums and, and pop albums in Turkey. So some young artists try to do some different kinds of music, like Turkish rock, Turkish hip hop. I believe it's not original. It's it's something we're not really are. But you know, it's it's nice that some young talents are trying to be to give more, to you know, to be uh, more valuable with their music. Mm. So there's a little bit of an identity crisis, really, in some ways, isn't there? There is. But what about you personally? Um, um, what goals of all projects do you want to fulfil next? Uh, once you've got the Wembley show out of the way on <laughs> April the 13th in London. I'm going to have a tour this summer in, in, in Turkey and some uh, other countries like Germany. Probably I'm going to go to Germany do a few, few gigs there. Um, <clears throat> and suffer the weather. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Russia, I'm going to probably go to Russia too. I'm hoping to, to go to South America, maybe to Mexico to do a show there. And that'll be your first time? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. actually. I've been there. I promoted my album back then when the Shimmerk song was big. Uh, it wasn't a concert, it was like a mini concert. Um, but besides music, I'm, I'm starting to walk on this new road of my life, which is um, I really want to help the nature because I think that people underestimate the power of the nature and that we are a part of the nature. So um, there's a foundation in Turkey, uh, foundation of nature. So we're going to do like some amazing projects together. In the past years, I realized that I like to take pictures. So uh, I keep buying cameras and taking pictures of nature, uh, of people, countries, um, cities. I was I had a, uh, just a different journey in Turkey a few days ago, taking pictures of different places in Turkey where the natures are being um, destroyed, actually. For example, did you know that we have flamingos in Turkey? No. Thousands of them. You know, people have to know about these things, I think, and we have to preserve the nature. So um, I want to do some different things in my life besides music. Excellent. So you're moving off into other directions altogether then. I mean, is there, is there any thought perhaps that you might give up music altogether? Is that, could no. that, could that happen? Never, never. I'm glad to hear that. Never. I think a lot of people would be very glad to hear that. <laughs>